in a normal day in my life usually wakes up about six to half past six and uh, before I take off to do some work at the lodge I usually prepare my gears, equipments, uh, my life jacket, toolbox, first aid kit, uh, make sure the boat is clean before our guest arrives. My name is Joseph Mbao, uh, I'm from Natalera village. I manage uh, Natale Eco Lodge and Takalana and I also run a dolphin watching tour business from Natale Eco Lodge. Moonrif is uh, located uh, seven kilometers north from here. And the reason why we call it Moonrif because of its shapes. It shapes like a uh, half moon, if you see from the aerial view, half crescent of a moon. And uh, dolphins are uh, usually inside, they rest inside the lagoon. Eh? Early in the morning, they come inside the, the lagoon, inside Moonrif. And late in the afternoon, about four o'clock, they move out of the reef again. And uh, they usually feed at night. In uh, 2010, all the chiefs from the district of Ndawasamu and the elders in the, the nine villages, uh, they declared Munrif as a marine protected areas. Our elders, they usually brief the young guys, the youth in the village, the importance of uh, having a marine protected areas. Not only for uh, food security, but it's also for the betterment of our future generation. The dolphin watching and the marine protected areas is very important for the village because uh, MPA sites, when we designated uh, MPA sites, there's no harvesting of fish or nothing there. It's just like a breeding place for the fish. The villagers usually eat abundant fish near the MPA sites. It's just the overspilled from the MPA sites that we have uh, lots of rich marine diversity. When we talk about marine conservation, it doesn't just mean the ocean and marine resources as a global public good. It's also a key development issue that's closely interconnected with climate change. In March 2021, the World Bank approved a US $145 million budget support operation supporting Fiji's recovery and strengthening its resilience. It supported the development of Fiji's national ocean policy to improve the resilience of coastal communities and the sustainable management of its marine resources. The policy defines Fiji's goals of reaching a five-fold increase in marine protected areas by 2024, and it supports the inclusion of women in oceans management in Fiji. The dolphin watching business is a boost to the tourism industry in the local community and it also help bring a lot of revenue to our community, to our schools. When people come towards the dolphins, it's not only they only paying for the dolphin watching, the economy trickles down to the community. Expanding Fiji's marine protected areas means greater protection of Fiji's exceptional biodiversity and improving ocean health. The World Bank is really proud to be part of this movement of protectors in supporting Fiji's mission to protect its ocean and marine ecosystems, alongside with other development organizations and partners that are also working in this space. The ocean is what people's livelihoods depend on. It supports food security, it connects islands, communities, families to each other and, and to the world. And it's a way of life for many Pacific people. We want to make sure the student or our next generation is aware of the importance of preserving our natural resources from reeds to reefs.